Hey guys, so today I'm going to be talking about my summer essentials. If you guys haven't seen one of my videos like this before, it's basically me talking about my kind of essential top beauty, um, body, nail, fashion products for that season. So summer is almost here. I know this is kind of early, but I get really overexcited for summer. It's my favorite season. I've already been on my summer holiday as well. I went away to Portugal for a couple of days with Mike. So I feel I'm feeling extra summery. So I just thought I'm gonna do this now. I'm feeling summery, let's do it. So starting off with nails because they're probably one of my favorite things to play around with in terms of color in the summer. I love bright, nail colours and kind of experimenting with neons and stuff in the summer, but I hate painting my nails in the summer. Not only because there's always something better to be doing, but I always seem to ding them or just not be very patient with waiting for them to dry or like get stuff, like just, I'm just not very good with nails in the summertime for some reason over the other seasons. Summer's the worst time for painting nails. So generally I tend to go for the long lasting formulas in the summertime. And my favorite one at the moment is from Revlon. It's the Colorstay Gel Envy collection. They have a really good variety of different colors in terms of covering the bases of classics. I feel like they do really, really good classic colors. Like this one is, um, pocket aces which is the perfect like corally pink for me I don't like my corals to be too orange I like them more on the pink side this one I love and then the turquoise is called full house which is the one I'm wearing at the moment I love turquoise in the summer turquoise and pink as well are like the best combination ever for me in the summertime so they're my two favorite shades and then the diamond top coat goes over the top so they're designed to be like a two-step system instead of like a normal base coat um, color and then top coat you do two coats of the color which acts as a base and then you also put the diamond top coat over the top to seal it all in and they just have a really kind of thick gel like texture and they last for a really long time as well so they're kind of life resistant in the summer and um, yeah I just really like them and I like the texture and I like the shiny finish they have a super like high shine finish they kind of look like gel nail polish but they're not so really like those from Revlon and these have been out for a couple of months so if you guys haven't seen them already um, you can get them in shops now. Moving on to makeup something that's been in my kind of summer essential category I guess for a few years now is the Shiseido UV Protective Liquid Foundation with SPF 30. This is great because it has SPF 30 in it but it's also water resistant slash waterproof. This stuff lasts all day so if you're going to be sweating, if you're going to be kind of in the pool or whatever, I don't wear makeup when I go in the pool but some people do, um, this is just generally really good for the summertime because it is sweat proof as well as being like water resistant and stuff. Really really love this stuff a lot. And I tend to only really come back to it in the summer or if I'm skiing because again, waterproof makeup, perfect. So yeah, I really like that. And then the other makeup product that is my summer essential is a new discovery for me, the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is something that is kind of like a cult product, but I've only just jumped on the bandwagon with it. I have the color Moonstone and it's just a really gorgeous, shimmery, um, highlighter, it's a cream highlighter. I put this underneath foundation, but you can also mix it with foundation. You can use it on your body. It's just a really beautiful kind of glowy liquid highlighter, but it's not too shimmery. It just has that real kind of like glow about it. And they do it in loads of different colors as well. It's like a rose gold one and then darker colors if you're a slightly darker skin tone. For perfume, my all time favorite summer perfume is from Jo Malone. It's the Dark Amber and Ginger Lily perfume, which is kind of a rediscovery. I haven't really used this in a while, but I have talked about it a lot on YouTube. It's from their Cologne Intense range, which kind of means that it's meant to be like more of an evening kind of like sophisticated scent. But for me, this just smells like summer. It's so good. I don't know what it is about Dark Amber or Ginger Lily. I know nothing about why but they smell like summer to me and I really really like the scent it's kind of become a kind of staple one of my staple scents that I've liked for a long time now then for sun cream I have a facial sun cream for Vichy which is the Ideal Soleil SPF 50 I really like this stuff because it's the new mattifying version so it's brilliant underneath your makeup or just if you don't want to wear makeup and you are wearing sun cream, it just doesn't leave you with that greasy, kind of shiny looking face, which nobody wants in the summer. So um, yeah, it's just a really nice facial sun cream and it's not too expensive, it's, you can get it in boots. Um, some of them are like really expensive, SPF 50 face ones if they're good. Because sometimes facial sun cream, it's, it's, it's a really tricky thing getting it right. Because sometimes it's really chalky and just not very nice. That one's really good. And then my favorite body sun cream, 
has been sticking around for years in my drawer of sun creams. This is the Pittsburgh One Day Long Lotion, and this is in 15, I think this is Mike's one from his golf bag, because I normally use 30. Um, I hate reapplying sun cream, especially if you're on the beach, or just somewhere where it's just, it's just not practical, reapplying sun cream every two hours. So this stuff lasts, I think it's six hours, um, with up to 45 minutes in the water. So for me, that's probably all the time I would spend in the sun anyway in a day, even when I'm on holiday. So um, it's perfect for me. You can just apply it right like before you go out in the sun and then you don't need to worry about it for the rest of the day. Problem solved. And it's slightly more expensive. I think it's like 15 pounds a bottle or something, but you use up so much less. Like one of these will last me like a full holiday if I take it with me. I usually have to get two because Mike uses it too. But um, yes, I'm a big, big fan of that. The final two are like my holy grail body summer saviour products. The first one is Saint-Tropez One Hour Tan, which this was a new one. It was introduced last summer, I think. I've used the Saint-Tropez mousse for years, but this one is really good because it's fast developing. So if you've got an event and you haven't been um, organized and sorted your tan out, etc., the day before or a couple of days before, then you can put this on, leave it for an hour and you'll have like a nice light glow. Or you can leave it for three hours or like me, probably five or six hours, then wash it off and you just have the perfect color. And it's a better color than all the other tans as well. Despite the like fast developing Plus, it, say, see, even if it didn't have that, this would be my favourite tan because it just leaves me with a really beautiful kind of golden colour that I really, really like. So, um, yeah, that is my favourite fake tan. And then for my legs as well, I also tend to use um, Sally Hansen airbrush legs a lot in the summer. Like, this this bottle actually is almost out. And as you can tell, it's like really great. I use this a lot. Um, this isn't necessarily a summer essential as like an all the time essential, but the only time I really get my legs out is in the summer because it's cold in England, so it tends to just be used mostly in the summer. However, it's brilliant. If you guys have not used this before, it's basically foundation for your legs, which sounds kind of weird, but once you've used it, I swear it's difficult to go back because it just makes your legs look really, really nice when perhaps they're a bit pasty. Moving on to fashion essentials for the summer. The first one is a pair of shorts, which I never thought I would say. I never really felt comfortable in denim shorts before. I've always felt that they're a bit short or they're not flattering on my thighs. And I just felt really uncomfortable wearing them. However, I discovered these ones a couple of months ago and I wore them loads when I was in LA for Coachella. And they are gonna be much or much worn, much worn a lot this summer um, because they are just so, so perfect for me, for my figure. They're from River Island. I can't remember the exact name, but they have like a lot of this style. They have like black ones and acid wash and whatever. I love how distressed they are. I think it makes them look a lot more expensive than they were. I think they were about 30 pounds. Um, and they're just a little bit longer than normal. They come up quite big as well, just FYI. Um, I have a 10 and they are quite big for me. I also could fit into the eight, but I wanted them to be quite loose so that I, you know, they're a bit more comfortable. Um, so yes, if you are thinking of buying these online, definitely consider like trying them on or buying two pairs and sending one back because they do come up quite big. My other fashion essential for summer this year is this dress from Amanda Up Pritchard, which I bought um, a few weeks ago. This is just a really multi-purpose, beautiful dress. It's made out of neon pink silk, which I think is gorgeous. I love bright pink as well. It's one of my favorite colors to wear because I think it's quite flattering for my skin tone. And I really love the cut too. It's just a really simple, easy, comfortable, shaped dress to wear and because it's silk it's a really easy thing to dress up and down so you could wear this in the daytime you could even wear it if you were like going to like a fancy trip to the beach but if you're going to the beach or if you're going out for lunch you can dress it up with heels to go out for dinner or for drinks in the evening or i think i'm actually probably going to wear this to a wedding this summer as well um with a nice little jacket and some nice shoes i just think perfect kind of all-round dress for the summer and i love the color as well and then my last but not least, but most controversial for me, um, <laughs> fashion favourite is this play suit from ASOS. And as you can see, it is stripy, it is a play suit, and yes, it has a cutout in the stomach area. It's not actually as big as it looks um, when I'm holding it up because 
this kind of goes straight at the waistband so it kind of sags down when you hold it up like that but it has a little cut out triangle just below the boobs it has the tie thing around the boob area it's just, it has that kind of vintagey pin up vibe to it but I just think it's really cute and I think it'll be perfect for the summertime and I love the material as well because it's light and airy but it's not like see through I like this a lot so that is it for my summer essentials video I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always I'm going to pop links to where you can buy everything in the info bar below and a big thank you as well to Revlon for working with me on this video they are awesome and I will see you again very soon bye guys Hey guys and welcome back. Today I have a big fat beauty haul for you all and I'm sorry if you guys don't like hauls being back to back. I just did a fashion haul if you haven't seen it go and check it out but um, for some reason I just always end up doing